We just passed the bison reserve with about 200 bison or more, and now, what are we doing? We're pulling into the Glacier National Park area. It's amazing. Glacier National Park. We're almost there anyway. scared were we just now? That was scary. I never get scared and that was scary. <laughs> we're literally gonna just fall off a cliff. It's so steep out here. After it's all so scary, you see this. This one's called Heaven's Peak. It's incredible. But this road is scary. We are headed up Avalanche Lake Trail. And check this out. Bear frequency in the area. We got our bear spray though. We're all set, and I got my bear stick. And when Abby went to grab this out of my backpack, she almost activated the bear spray on me, it sounded like. There you go. So I gotta watch out for her. We are almost to Avalanche Lake, but it's incredible out here. We, we weren't sure if we were gonna see something more beautiful than Big Sur, California on this trip, and the first sight we've seen since we've been Glacier has surpassed Big Sur. Abby says that it's 10,000 times more beautiful than Big Sur, but I don't, I don't agree with that. This was our first hike out on the trip, and we just saw a grizzly bear with her cub. First we heard some rustling all the way up in the brush up there, and we're trying to find it. Cracking sound. Yeah, and we had our binoculars, the first time ever bringing binoculars anywhere ever. We always say we're gonna bring them. Almost left do. them in the car. And luckily we had them. Um, and there's this guy here that was really awesome and, and had this high power scope and we were able to um, look at it through that as well. And there's a lot of people started gathering and we're all checking on the grizzly bear. We really watched her climb from all the way up there. And then she came all the way down and with her cub and got a drink at the water. Um, it's just, just amazing. Incredible. If you're asking yourself the question of if you can eat say, like really healthy right while still on the road and traveling full time, it can be done. So even if you just want to get a snack or a lunch, like right now we just hiked a little bit and so we wanted to get a snack or lunch, we're able to find a pickle, some hard boiled eggs, you know, guacamole, no added stuff. I have a pretty strict diet and no like dairy, gluten, added sugars to things. Anywhere that you find a small store, at least out here in the Pacific Northwest area, they have options for you to stay really healthy while you are out on the road. All right, so we're on our way up to Hidden Lake Overlook. It's about a, uh, about a mile and a half from the parking lot, Logan Pass uh, Tourist Center. And uh, it's on the road to the sun. We're stopping, getting a nice cool breeze from this creek. And we got some uh, big mountain and some snow behind us, but it's really refreshing to stop by the creeks. It's ice cold, and we like to dip our hands in it, put it on the back of our neck and let the cool breeze get it. Just really pretty so far. Give you a look at that. Here's the view from the Hidden Lake Overlook. I needed it because it's so hot up here. I ran out of Oh no! Definitely worth checking out. Made it to Hidden Lake. I was just wading out or wading, however you want to say it, into the water. It's so cold. It's like 50 degrees. It's amazing to see stuff like this. You gotta get out and you just gotta do it. This is McDonald Creek in Glacier National Park. We're standing here with McDonald Creek behind us and uh, we're here in Glacier National Park. We've been here a few days now, just loving our time here. We're paddleboarding this exact river tomorrow and the water's crystal clear. It's absolutely beautiful and we're super excited. We wanted to shoot this video to talk about this trip that we're on, why we're on it, and what our goals are with it. Yeah, so it all kind of came about about two years ago. We were watching a YouTube video or a bunch of YouTube videos of some families and couples that were traveling full time, some in their motorhomes, um, travel trailers, RVs. And so we just got really inspired by them to adventure more and to travel more. We've always wanted to do that. We've always wanted to explore and see the whole country and see um, just the beauty and everything. And so uh, we just got really inspired by that. And it's taken us a little bit of time to get to where we are now to be able to have this opportunity to do it but um, that's kind of what jump started us to to want to do this a lot of times we put things off that we love till next year or maybe five years out when in reality if you just take a look at your goals and what they might be you can make them happen a lot sooner than you think you might be able to this is a forest fire here in glacier that started last night that's what the ranger told us 
around 6.30 p.m. so there's a lightning strike. So we're way over here across the lake and they have these planes that are picking up the water. Dipping down in and picking up the water and then they fly back up and dump it on the fire. It, it appears we saw bear poop. It was. It was a lot. There's berries in it. For sure it's bear poop. We need knives probably to walk with but we at least have that and our rocks and we're trying to talk really loud so so we turned around and went back the other way. It was a one-way trail. We were going to look at a beaver dam, apparently. Um, there was one back there. However, we were on the trail for a while, saw the bear poop, thought we'd turn around and head back to the car and go paddle boarding. Let's go paddle boarding down the McDonald River. Oh yeah. Forest fire back there. That'd be sweet. We just finished uh, paddle boarding down the McDonald River. Abby's in there taking a little dip. Uh, super fun, about an hour and a half if you're going pretty much the whole time without uh, taking a stop. I really enjoyed it and uh, the water was super clear. A little windy today, so it was blowing us back a little bit. Um, but yeah, and there's a forest fire happening um, back there and the wind's really causing it to pick up, so hopefully everything goes all right with that. So we stopped by the Wandering Gringo after we went pedal boarding today. It's right off of Highway 2. If you're leaving West Glacier, turn right and it's about a mile down on your right. Um, the girl at the paddleboard place recommended it yeah. to us and it is awesome. What, what, do you, what do you recommend? It's so good. So the burritos are the best. Well, he ate the burrito. I had a burrito bowl. They're huge. The burritos are huge. Big as my head. Yeah, they're <laughs> massive. And they're so good. And they're like 10 bucks. Yep. Cash or check only. Yeah, make sure you bring cash or check. Oh, it was amazing. You'll love it. So if you're out for a hike all day long and you're looking for something good, go to the Wandering Gringo. You'll love it. Mm -hmm.